I think we are live here. Hello, everybody. That's right. It is a uh, this is a psychosis game for the Mega Drive and or Genesis. Uh, released in 1992, uh, Shadow of the Beast. Uh, this will be ran by Death Devil here. I'll be commentating over his run. I hope everybody's doing fine because this, uh, as you can see right here, Rob is pretty good at this game. Um, this is a very interesting game. Uh, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong. We'll be playing at 18 HP percentage. You can do like 8 health, uh, 12 health, or 18 health, where 18 health is basically easy mode. Um, yeah, and we're already counting now. We're going to get right in into it. Uh, you'll see this is a fairly interesting game. This is an original Amiga game, actually. Um, the Amiga game is a little harder than this, but this one is, uh, is also relatively very good actually. Uh, so my name is the Motherbrain86. You might know me from before. I was in the RTLTV crew like uh, two years ago, but that, that's fine. Uh, so here we have the first stage. Uh, you just go to the left. You kick a whole bunch of uh, these enemies. You don't even actually need to kill all of these. You can basically just damage, boost through all of them because there's going to be a health drop right at the next stage that he's entering right here, which is the caves. Uh, he's playing the Japanese version because there's like a little bit of a difference in damage uh, and health potions you can grab along the way. There's like two more in the Japanese version than there is in the uh, European or NTSC version. Where the NTSC version actually has some more more differences uh, than this one here. So here we have, this is just like a whole lot of ladder climbing. Actually great music right here in this game. Uh, there's like a whole lot of weird enemies that are like... It's impossible to explain what exactly they are. Like, I, I don't even know. Just call them gray guys, and they have like sort of worms. So that's actually snails. That's that's one thing I know. That's like a bunch of snails. Uh, I used to have the world record in this, but that devil beat it by two seconds. And this is just one of those games that you, uh, well, you gotta get just perfect execution. They get like a good run. So there he grabs like one key. You need that key in order to uh, to progress through this stage. I don't, if you don't have the key, like a certain path will be blocked and. You just need to find this key. So it's like a sort of a small maze here. Uh, but that's basically it. So he's going to go down here, down these steps here. That's going to be the first boss coming up. And he's going to try to get some double punches in. That is a possibility if he can get it. So let's see if he gets one. Oh, he's just doing singles. Maybe he doesn't know about the double punch. I'm not sure. But if you mash there, there's like a possibility you get like double punches. You need to hit him like uh, six times but, or five times. So if you get like two double punches, it just makes it a lot faster. So he just went into a teleporter, which puts him like at a certain place in a map. He knows exactly where to go. This goes up and right, and there's going to be a, another boss coming up right here. Uh, so he needs that orb that he just points out of that statue earlier in order to kill his boss. If you don't grab that, uh, this boss will just instantly kill you if it touches you. And this game has no continues either. So this is actually a very, very scary run. Uh, this is why we, he also picks like the highest health amount possible in this game to do like for a marathon run. Mainly because like, if you die, it's game over, you go back to your start. So that's, uh, that is uh, pretty hard. Yeah, you start off going left, I know, right? That's, uh, that's not good. So here's gonna push a lever that you should not push, because it says right there, it's a little hard to read, but it says do not touch. Uh, he touched it, but you gotta touch it, because otherwise you just don't, you cannot finish, uh, cannot finish the level. So he's gonna go left right here, just all the way to the right, there's gonna be a health potion. So he doesn't matter, like he doesn't care that he gets damage over here, he's just gonna run through all these enemies doesn't matter grab the one key that's over here and then he's gonna go back to the right and he might grab the health potion he might do like six threats that i don't know about but i'm pretty sure he's gonna grab the health potion all the way to the right oh he's not oh okay well i guess he's going risky then all right let's see what we get I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because it's gonna give you like a full health refill and like a little bit later in the stage, there's like another big health refill, but I would just like for marathon's sake, maybe pick it, but it's all right. A lot of these enemies are actually really hard to dodge. They have like enormous hitboxes. Uh, and there's some Psygnosis logos right there. That's, that's cool, right? There's like a whole bunch of them. So all he needs to do here is just make sure he doesn't get hit like too many times. But right here to the right, there's gonna be another health potion gonna get hit once more by his faces walks right through there there's full strength boom 18 health nothing to worry about and he can just continue and just damage boost through the slinkies as well because it was like a little late in that cycle there he actually took like one extra damage so preferably you would have like 15 health over here but he's not that's fine like 14 that's that's okay let's see if he can like maybe not get damaged by these ghosts here. because these ghosts they can be a hassle but he's just he's just not stopping he's not stopping He's doing good. 
Yeah, this is deboost the game, but you don't like go anywhere or whatever. You just uh, you just get some damage. There you go. That's it. You just uh, let's take it. So here's come here comes the actual boss of this stage. The other boss we saw like a mini boss. Uh, this is like a sort of a, a red lizard kind of guy that tries to stab you with his tail to the ground, you know, like right there. And you just gotta punch him with that power punch he just grabbed because again, like if you did, didn't grab that power punch, which was the bottle that he grabbed earlier. Uh, you cannot kill that boss. So he's gonna climb out of this caves, go to the open world scenery, and this is basically the same level as the first level, but now we go to the right instead of the left. And there's some beautiful parallax scrolling as well in the background. So he has six health, so he has to make sure that he uh, kills some enemies because he's gonna get like four or 12 over here, which should be more than enough, like 10 is even enough at this point. That's like a nice blimp in the background too. It's always fun. The big ass moon. It's actually two blimps. So that's like a whole lot of things coming out of the ground. You have no idea where they're coming from. Uh, you have no idea when they're coming, unless you play this game. But, uh, that devil uh, making sure that he is uh, plowing through here, killing all these, uh, killing all these things. Yeah, the Amiga version is very cool. Caves don't have jet engines in your country. I, I, over here, they have. It's common. So as you can see, like every time he uh, destroys one of those rocks, you can just grab uh, grab two extra HP. In the final level, there's gonna be a troll where you can actually get like minus two HP if you grab like the wrong one. Um, or actually, these ones you can grab like frame perfect, like with a jump and a kick. If you do that frame perfectly, you can just grab him without stopping. But uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a little tricky. So here's like a whole lot of uh, weird enemies. Dragon dropping a bomb. Another dragon dropping another bomb. I would think like if I was a dragon, I would not drop bombs. I would just like, you know, use my fire breathing. To burn this guy to toast, but yeah, these dragons are not the smartest. So here's some rockets. This this game was basically developed because the developer of this game was like, yo, every game that I play is just a little bit too easy. And he wanted to make like something that is unfair and hard, and then this game came around. So, yeah, like that devil make it makes it look easy, but this game, if you've not played this, and you're gonna play like the Genesis version or the Amiga version, whatever, it's gonna be a hard game. It's a hard game. So he's gonna grab one key which is very conveniently right next to the door or i'm sorry torch because you need the torch to get uh, to actually see in the stage otherwise you just can't beat the stage or maybe you can i've never tried it but it doesn't seem like a good idea to do this in the dark because there's so many enemies so he has five health here he's in perfect shape nothing to worry about let's keep on running it's gonna be a health potion uh right on top we do some extra damage there it should not be too bad yeah, he has, he has right, he has just enough here. He's not, oh, okay. He had to be careful there, like he was gonna hit once more, it was game over, but lucky for him, there is one health potion right there waiting for him, giving him full strength again, and he's good to go. So let's see what we have here. What's up, Big John? Everybody else, of course. Tender Bray. Yeah, the Japanese version is definitely playable. So right here, he's gonna grab uh, one of these screws right here. He's gonna, um, I'm not actually sure where you, why you get this one, but he's gonna grab it because if you don't grab it, you cannot finish the stage. And he's gonna maybe manipulate, yeah, he's gonna make sure that this leg is gonna follow him all the way through this alleyway so that he uh, doesn't get any enemy spawns here. Even though the spawns are not that bad, to be honest, but right at the start of this alleyway, there's like a whole bunch of enemies all cuddled together and you wanna, reduce all the damage you can get in this stage really because it's it's a fairly long stage and there's gonna be like a whole lot of fast enemies trying to hit you there will be more health potions obviously right at the end of the stage but uh yeah just to make it a little safer it is a good idea to uh to get that lag fully so this is basically the start of the stage again but now we're gonna go left it's like sort of a small maze right here you can't kill those spiders unfortunately so we're gonna go uh gonna go down here gonna be big green guys every enemy in this game does one damage like there's no no enemy in this game that does like more than one damage it's all just one damage one damage and that's it so it's it's uh, definitely easily uh it's definitely easy manipulation and like how to uh, actually get the route going and there we go full strength and now he actually gets a weapon yeah that's right there's weapons in this game it kind of looks like a like a bamboo stick that shoots Water drops. 
horizontal or vertical water drops. I'm not sure. There you just duck. I think you need like the gear actually for that part there to open it up. Um, so now you can just basically shoot everything, kind of like Contra, but you can only shoot like left and right. And you gotta make sure that, uh, that you kill everything. So after this, there's gonna be like a sort of a space mob or sorry, a smop section or aka space shooter section with this weapon. You'll see that when he's gonna kill the upcoming boss, uh, which is also gonna be a very interesting boss to fight, which is nothing else but just stand right in front of him, shoot him until he dies, and you get to go to the next stage. Because his projectiles are extremely difficult to dodge, as you can see. It's just like. There's no point in trying to dodge him because you're gonna get like the same amount of damage if you're dodging it than just standing still and shooting him. So there we go, easy kill, nicely done by that double. And here is the space shoot section. Uh, this is not like your generic space shooting section because he's actually holding forward to move forward. You can like move left and right, go all over the place. But obviously, if you want to go fast, you gotta keep on holding right and keep going. So that's like a whole bunch of like. I guess spider, spider eggs, that's kind of what they look like, spider sex, uh, to get some extra health right here. It's a pretty fairly, it's a pretty, sh not that hard. And there's gonna be a, an, another boss, like every stage actually has a boss in this game, that's, uh, and that's fun, that's just why this game is fun to win. Uh, this is Shadow of the Beast, sure. Genesis, Mega Drive, and the Amiga, but this is the Genesis version. Or actually, Mega Drive, Genesis version. It's the Genesis version, believe it or not, a little different from this one. So here we come, come up with the boss. Uh, it's like R-Type. This part of the boss reminds me of like the first boss in R-Type. But then a little, a little more veins, I guess. And there we go, boom. Dies into fireworks. And we're already off to the, the final stage right here. He's in a really good pace. Uh, this is here is going to grab like some health. That one that he skips right there is going to be negative two health points. So you don't want to grab that one, obviously. And uh, he's just making short work of, uh, of killing all these enemies right here. This was not an arcade. Coming up, there's gonna be a whole lot of other generic ghosts like potato heads with tomato sauce on them. Then we have some, not sure what that is. Or basically back outside, going towards that final boss and making sure we finish the stage. And he's in a really good place, so let's see what time he's gonna get. So the world record is 12 minutes and 11 seconds. Am I right? I forget. Um, but let's see what he gets. Here's the final boss. He has a good health, so we can just stand there and just spam him. Punch him, punch him, punch him, until he explodes. And when the explosion fades, it's gonna be time. Boom, and that's time. 12-16, very nice. Well done. Well done, Dead Devil, great job. And then he finally becomes a human because he was the Shadow of the Beast after all. What a plot twist. <laughs> that's Shadow of the Beast for you for Genesis. Uh, yeah, you gotta punch that toe, man. Or I'm sorry, I keep on saying Genesis. It's actually Mega Drive. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this run. Uh, it's it's very fun, a lot of fun. It's it's fairly simple to pick up and play. Uh, it's just hard to uh, to get everything done like pretty fast. But a twelve sixteen is a excellent excellent marathon time. So GG that double. Thank you so much for having me. This was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely a game. <laughs> it's a different game for sure. Um, but it's fun, man. It's fun. It's, it's good stuff. Yeah, no, I don't. I would not call that a god. This is one guy that just uh, just punches you down with like a without a hammer. He's very big, but you can only see his toes. I, I have no idea. It's kind of weird. So thank you all for having me. Have fun with the next game. There's gonna be uh, a lot of Bombermans after this. Super Bomberman three, four, and five, all by Thug KJ. So have fun with that. I'm out. Have a good day. See you next time. And bye bye.